Hang on. Uh, Sci-Fi, back again with another subscriber's choice, number 41. And there's like a no-head guy. And there is like a no-head guy. Hello, Alex. How you going? Hello, Emily. Hello, sweetie. My mate, Ollie, who's the one who asked to see... He goes, show me all your horror figures now. Like... What's a horror, what's a horror movie? I mean, you've got... Yeah, of course you've got all your... I mean, I could have brought down alien figures, predator figures. There's a girl in the bed sometimes. There's a girl in the bed, yes there is. And I'll we'll pop that out and have a look a bit later. <laughs> but to say horror films, I mean, I've done my alien figures so often. I mean, what? And there's a girl going down the stairs. Yeah, there is indeed. So, horror films, I mean, you can say alien would be the first. The first alien movie was a horror movie. And Second was a war. <laughs> Second was a war movie. Third was a suspense movie. I bought I, I bought him down because he's a cool uh, video game. Dude. He's from he's from Resident Evil Five. He's also from some of the movies, but the movies were no good. There's a little clown guy too. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll talk about him. So he's from Resident Evil Five. He's the executioner. Um, the reason I put it in the horror. Because when I when I played the video when I played the video game, uh, frightened the crap out of me. It was hard to it was hard to kill. That's the one. That's the executioner from Resident Evil Five. Also from some of the movies, I think he appeared in one or two of the movies. And there's like some guy here. That's the pinhead. We'll get to him in a minute. Yeah. Um. So yeah, he's got that ginormous axe. I have you. I have. Reviewed these before for all my new subscribers. I've got them out there somewhere. So that's that. Anyway, so I'll just do a horror game one, but um, a movie what? called A House of a Thousand Corpses, Rob Zombie's what movie. That's what that's Captain it? Spaulding. Yep. Played by Sid Haig. Sid Haig. Yeah, what he's an that? he's a nineteen seventies actor that Rob Zombie decided to use. And there's blood it's, on the steps. We're not getting to that bit yet. We're talking about the clown guy, and he's even got a little mask here. Little, sorry, a little hat. Little Doesn't. Hat. There we go. Little hat. Little, Don't little, touch. Little you touch, you're in trouble. Anyway, so it's. I'm making yeah, sure. House of a Thousand Corpses no. was quite a disturbing film for some people. Yeah, horror films, as I said, Alien, Predator, whatever. Um, this isn't exactly a horror film. It scared the life out of a lot of people, which was Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Emily, stop. Um, played by Sir Anthony Hopkins. Villain, don't touch my toys. Or figures or whatever. Um, yeah, the actual story itself wasn't horrific, but... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, None the character itself scared people. Wife. They scared the hell out of people. Hey, where did Ollie go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, man. The movie was actually quite dull. Bullshit. It wasn't dull at all. It was fantastic. Like, he's like, he has a little thing that... Yeah, it's to stop him from biting and eating people. But anyways, we're not going to go into the context of these movies because they're not for children. But children just happen to be here while I'm reviewing this. But anyway, so... Um, next, Hellraiser and Hellbound and all the other Hellraiser films. This is Pinhead, played by Pinhead. Doug Bradley. Pinhead, yes, and he's one of the Cenobites, one of the most popular Cenobites. And he's pretty cool, but that's a definite horror film for sure. I mean, eventually. Oh, I've never ever read the books of blood. Man, they He's are. like Pinny and stuff. And there is one other, um... Clowny. There's one Clive Barker figure that I will not bring down here to show in front of the children. It's too graphic. Uh, my mate JC Selji has a whole bunch of these tortured souls figures. I've got one, he's got all of them. And they are just absolute nasty. Anyway, from an old fairy tale, gothic fairy tale turned horror. Um, Ichabod Crane and the Headless Horseman. I will get to that. Um, he was played by three different characters. He was played by, of course, um, the head there. That's I'm just going to lie that down so I can have a look. Played by Christopher Walken when he had his head on, his head off. He was played by Ray Park, who played Darth Maul with the sword fighting action 
sequences and, and he chopped his head off and some horse riding dude who was very good at riding a horse that was he like chopped 17 his head off. hands high yes he, no don't worry um <laughs> reason i'll call that a horror movie because the first one i saw was when i was about five or six it was a disney production like a disney cartoon that frightened the living daylights out of me this one was more i oh know more gothic because it was tim burton making it anyway so yeah the most scary what would you say was the most horrifying film you've seen of the exorcist, the exorcist definitely yeah you're gonna yeah camera hog yeah see look silent hill how about the conjuring and oh, and, uh, I know they're making a conjuring. Skeleton head. Okay, so yes, Ollie and I are in agreement here. The Exorcist. There's a very new NECA one of Reagan going down the stairs. I actually added a little bit of extra blood because it was nowhere near as. Really yuck? Yeah, it wasn't as brutal, so I decided to add a bit of extra. Mm. And then, of course, Reagan. God, I've got a lot of a lot of light here. Crikey, I'm not going to get some good shots here. Out of the way, kids. Out of the way. Let's see if I can pull this back a bit. There we go. There we are. And of course, the children here don't have. They have no idea what it's all about. So I picked this up a few years ago. Did a video of it, and it's got quite a good response. And normally the response would be because it's got batteries in it. Where the hell's that damn button? Oh, there it is. So, yeah. Don't press Where the button. are you? Don't press the button. Sorry, guys. No, no, I don't want to make anything scary. Just get the bloody hand out of them. Ollie, can you do me the honours? I'm good. I can't bloody film and there's a... You'll see it. Here we go. So yeah, if you haven't seen the movie, or you probably have, and now the head's stuck. Again, the, the children here don't have any concept of what and Jeez. why that happened. And of course, Ollie wouldn't let his kids see this sort of film. So there we go. So there you go, Ollie. They wouldn't let me watch the movie. <clears throat> there you go. There you go, sci-fi subscriber's choice number 41 from Ollie. Now, it's not very often that I actually have my subscribers join me in the same room. Is it? No. Anyway, so there we are. <laughs> Appalling light. Children all over the place. My house is crawling with children. <laughs> Alright guys, well I'll see you all then. Yeah, I hope bye -bye. you enjoyed. Bye. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, um, I've got a, another subscriber's choice up next and a couple of other figures. Put the beer down, Emily. Put the vodka down. Yeah, no, no vodka for you, sweetheart. No beer for you. It's too No, it's too early. No. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all then. Until next time. Force me with you always. Cheers.